What's up, guys? Hello, Bass Drizzling in here. Oh, practice in the lake that has smallmouth and largemouth, and one rig that I never go on a lake with smallmouth without is a stupid tube. Um, it's probably right up there with the drop shot as far as a, uh, a rig that uh, catches smallmouth for me and largemouth equally. Um, it's a great bait. Uh, you can see it's basically a weedless tube jig version of the tube. So I'm gonna show you how to rig it today uh, and talk about a few of the things. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a couple of great smallmouth catches uh, to show you that the stu stupid tube does catch big ones and, uh, and works really well. Bigger than the other one. Oh! So, what you need is uh, kind of your standard tube, three and a half, three, three and a half inch tubes are probably the best for this. Um, a good jig head with a fairly good uh, hook bite um, with a flat eye. So. I have two choices. Uh, one is this uh, shaky head style agitator football head uh, that's tungsten. And the other jig that I really like is this VM uh, extra wide gap tube hook. You want a tube jig with an extra wide gap um, or it just doesn't rig right and you're gonna miss too many fish. So I'm gonna show it to you with the agitator head first. Uh, basically you wanna lay it out in the tube, kind of figure out how you want it to sit in there. Um, I use this one for slightly thinner tubes, and then if I got a real big meaty tube, I'll go with this extra wide gap VNM. So, um, basically, you open it up, uh, the tube upside down, and you kind of rig it backwards. You still gotta do it with the line off. Um, so, put the hook in, and you kind of come out, I don't know, maybe half inch or so down, and you feed it in like that. Sometimes it works to get a little scent or saliva on that tube jig so it slides through. I like this football head because it, it changes the shape of the tube. It gives it a little more, I don't know, goby look. So then you want to flip that and work that head up right there. As you can see, there it is right there. Now I've got, kind of got this little fat head. Also makes it come through the rocks a little better. And then you want that hook to come through just like that. So you just kind of bend the tube and then let it lay just like that. If you want, you can text pose it a little bit, but it lays really flat, super weedless. Anytime you're around any grass in your rocks, you can skip docks with it around trees. It's super weedless. It's just like a Texas rig, basically like Texas rig in a tube, but you get the action of a tube jig. So you get that spiral when it falls. Um, and then try to break that through with as little effort as possible because you don't want that ripping out. And there you go. That's the stupid tube. As far as jig head size, I start with a 3 16 ounce head. And that's my starting point. Sometimes I'll go down an eight, sometimes up to a quarter. It really depends on the water, but 3 16 is always my starting point and gets the job done in probably 80, 90% of the situations. As far as line size, I really prefer 12 pound fluorocarbon on a seven foot three power uh, bait casting rod. Um, you can use a spinning rod, you can go lighter line. So I would say 10 to 12 pound fluoro um, you can use a spinning rod with break to floral leader as well, but I think you get a better hook set with slightly heavier line and a slightly stiffer rod because you got to go and kind of, you know, it's a little harder hook set and a little harder to drive that hook home than the exposed hook. So that setup works for me almost all the time. So we're going to fish this a little bit more today. Um, if we catch some and also I'll uh, show you some fish catches coming up here. Hey. Not good. Pulling the boat around. That's a pretty good fish. 
See? I do know where there's some fish in this lake. <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and comment, um, subscribe, uh, you know, whether you love this video or other videos you watch, uh, the biggest thing you can do to help out uh, video creators is to like and comment on their videos. It shows engagement for YouTube, then YouTube helps push it out to more uh, washers, and that's what really helps them. So it only takes two seconds. Uh, make sure you do that, um, and stay tuned. we got a lot more content coming. Fixing your mirror, closer than they appear. So, hope this helped you catch more bass and hope you suck less at catching smallmouth.